Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at how to make something look like it's underwater. Now this is a very specific trick that you could do to achieve this effect. I thought this would be a good concept to do a video on so let's just get right into this. Let me just play this piece of um, demo footage that I have here. And I achieved this with just a couple key plugins. And I've actually, the main concept behind this effect is actually something I covered a little bit in my last tutorial video, which was the, was the video about masking out complex objects. It's basically the same concept, so I'll just quickly run through how I did this. First off, just ignore these two things, because what this is is the color correction, and then what this is is just the, uh, some lens flares that are that I uh, overlaid so you don't have to worry about those what you need to be paying attention to are these three layers here so this is the base footage this is just the ocean footage that I had that I got from videoblocks.com in case you were wondering this effect can be achieved with anything like you can have text you can have a logo you can have uh, another video or I don't I don't know what um, situation you would want to use another video but I don't know this is your project as long as the layer that you're using that you want to appear underwater is between these two layers here so you got your base footage whatever you want under the water and then you've got your matte waves which is what I've called it this is basically a copy of this footage here so you've got one copy of your footage here on the bottom and then one copy here so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your top layer which is your duplicate of your footage on the bottom you're going to want to go to effects and type in matte and the first thing you want to use is set matte so you just want to drag that on top of your uh, your top layer and it says by default it should say video 3 assuming you put it in the video 3 slot here so you're going to want to remember that because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to this text layer um, or whatever you have and we're going to drag a track matte key effect onto this layer here in the middle uh, you're going to want to set it to video 3 and then you're going to want to set it to matte luma instead of matte alpha so if we play this through we'll see the oceans text pop up and that's just the way I've told it to come in like that. So now that we've got that we can start applying the other effects that we need to the um, middle layer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply a slight blur to the text. Um, so you're just gonna want to drag in a Gaussian blur plugin onto your middle layer and just type in something like Eight or something like that. It just can't be like super sharp. Maybe even less than that would do. Yeah, about about there, six or so. Uh, that should work out just fine for our purposes. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to type in turbulent displace, and you're just gonna drag this under the middle layer. And this is what's going to achieve the actual waviness of the text. We can actually drag this track mat key plugin below these other two plugins. So now the Turbulent Displace and the Gaussian Blur are both before the Track Matte Key, which is eh, eh, it's right down there. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I have to like, yeah, slam, slam it down. But yeah, so you're gonna wanna go to this Turbulent Displace plugin and for the amounts, around 120 should work for the amounts. So size, size is probably gonna be around eight. So we're seeing a little bit of improvement here. Complexity can stay the same. We're not going to use offset. And then evolution is going to be key here to actually get it to look like it's got any sort of waviness because right now if we play it, it's not really changing at all. The only reason it was changing a little bit there was because it was changing scale. The waves aren't moving at all. So we got we to gotta animate this evolution. So we're going to hit this stopwatch at a keyframe and then go to the end of uh, the layer where the layer stops about right here and I'm going to just probably about there is good maybe a little bit farther yeah around there um, you can mess around with it until you get the result that you want but if we play this back 
we can see that it is now wavy. It looks like it's somewhat underwater, but it still doesn't look realistic. So let's go ahead and mess with this top layer here. Now we haven't done all we need to do for this top layer. This is the matte layer. So this is gonna be what's affecting this text down here. And uh, if you saw in the demo video, there was an overlay of the actual water. There were like reflections overlaying on top of this text. Uh, that's what we're gonna try and do now. So actually the way that we do that is we need to type in threshold and then we need to drag threshold onto this top layer. And as you're gonna see, the middle layer is going to disappear. Um, and that is because right now the threshold is set to one. So if I'm not mistaken, it should be all white right now or all black, sorry. Um, so we're gonna have to set this to like something like that. So possibly we can probably go farther than that. Um, to me, that doesn't really seem like enough. So I'm gonna go a little bit farther. Just so you know, I typed in 0 0.385, no. I typed in 0 0.0358, I believe that's what I typed. So I'm going to type in something a little bit higher. Let's see, 0 0.37. That looks about right to me, I don't know about you. So again, you can adjust this as necessary, uh, however you want. That's how you get those reflections there. Um, and now we're going to actually start making this middle layer a little bit more realistic now that we've got those reflections. It looks good, but one of the key things you need to do is turn down the opacity a little bit. So we're gonna turn down the opacity to maybe like 20 and that should be fine for our purposes. And then we could also, another thing we could do is we could add a tint to the actual text. So instead of it being white, I know you could do this just by editing the color uh, of the actual text, but I'm just gonna do it with tint. So we can get like a kind of light bluish color. About there should do it. And that, as you can see, that just changed the color a little bit so it kind of matches the background so it's not just pure white. And since it's got low, lower opacity, it's gonna be a little bit more gray if you don't add a tint. So now it's got slight tint. We could actually make that a little bit less, a little bit more saturated. That should, that, that should look pretty nice. And then what we could do is we could reapply the color balance and the color correction. And that's what gets us that. And now that that's there, we can actually turn down the opacity because I do think um, it's a little bit too opaque right now. So I'm just gonna lower it to like 30. That should be good. And then I'll re-layer these lens flares just for an added effect. And I also need to unhide that. And there we go. We have just recreated the effect. And as you can see, it just got 10 times better adding the color correction and the lens flares because before it's just like so gray and boring. And now when you add this, it looks so much more lively. Yeah, that's how you can achieve this underwater effect. And you could do this to numerous amount of things uh, apart from just text so you know just use your imagination and apply this to whatever you see fit so that's that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video thought this was useful and i will see you in the next one